Hello YouTube, Robert here. I'm filming on my computer, so I decided to try something different. I know, hair is looking like a hot mess. I don't know what to start with. It's been like three weeks, I think. We'll start out with shout outs real quick. So, um, big shout out to Nancy. I got an email today and I think most of us have. Um, I've got you in my thoughts and prayers and sending good vibes and everything your way. Um, sorry for your loss. Um, shout out to Aaron. Um, he's Maryland's boy on here. And then A underscore Drake 80. What was it? I'm looking it up. Uh, a underscore Drake underscore 85 on Instagram. I'll link him down below. Um, and then I joined a Facebook group, Bewitched Stitches, I think. And they're doing something on Instagram, too. Um, they're doing um, a sow. Uh, yeah, Bewitched Stitches stitches they're doing a sal for salem i don't have any salem patterns so i'm looking to buy one and one that i like and i haven't bought it yet but one that i like is from uh wicked wicked stitcher on instagram or on etsy um and i think on instagram too but it says we are the granddaughters of the witches you could not burn uh, so there's the very crappy picture of it because I'm showing it from my phone. Anyway, so there's that. Um, and then I want to buy their Lizzie uh, Borden murder house piece. Um, home is where the horror is. It's the Bates house. Um, so I want to get those three from, Wic uh, from Wicked Stitcher. I'll link it below. See if I can't get this. There we go. So how have you guys been doing? I've been good. Just been busy. Busy working, doing too much as usual. So anyway, um, so Aaron and I have been talking um, quite a bit on Instagram and discussed that um, we both love minions. So he made me some minions. Um, grime guards which i'll show you here in a little bit um but i also told him and i didn't get it down so please excuse me i would show him something maybe i'll show just a few pieces throughout my videos um not to overwhelm anybody because i mean after all we're here for stitches right but this is my one of my minions he's got a santa hat and a present and um, that's it, but I love him. I don't know where my obsession came from. I know my dad's obsessed with the minions. Let's see, can you go there? Yeah, you're not going to be in frame. That's okay. So that's one of them. Um, I love him. Then I will... I know in my last video, I don't know exactly what all I showed, what I haven't, and all of that kind of stuff. I know I haven't shown this because I showed it on Instagram. So I was making that piece for my grandmother for her birthday um, using Victorian Motto Sampler um, floss on a 32 count antique white Belfast linen. Um, beautiful fabric, I love it. Then I was walking out to my car to go to work and one of my energy drinks sprung a leak in the side of the can. I don't know how, but it did. And it was just like a tiniest pinhole prick in this stupid can. It was a cl uh, closed can. And so because of that prick, it started spraying out very far, actually. Quite impressive. Um, 
stream of my red liquid because it was a uh, kiwi, I think black cherry kiwi or something. One of my favorite ones. Um, I just know that it comes in a black and purple can with green lettering. Um, so this happened. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen. So this happened. Oh, I was so cheesed. I was so angry. Um, I'm planning on still doing it. Um, I'm thinking if I do the Lizzie Borden house, um, somehow figuring out how to make all of the fabric look like that. I, I moved it because I was going to start it again, the pattern. I got so pissed off, pardon my French, at this um, piece because of, of this little mishap. Um, Garrett uh, Coffee Stitcher said that this would be the perfect piece of fabric to do like a Lizzie Borden. Um, so I think I want to do the Lizzie Borden house when I buy it from Wicked Stitcher on this and figure out how to get the whole thing to look like blood splatter and all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's that. Pretty disappointing and um, all of that, but what do you do? Things happen, right? Somebody needs to calm myself down because I'm buying too much. Um, or actually, we'll do stitchy kindness first. So, I know I haven't worked on this since the last time, so I'll go ahead and show it. Um, it's my nephew's stocking. Um, Aaron and I had talked, and I use um, primarily 11 by 11 Q-snaps if I'm using a Q-snap. So he made me 11 by 11 Q-snaps. Um, Grime guards. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is the first one. It's the Minions, obviously, with uh, blue. And then the second one <clears throat> he made is uh, Minions on gray. I think it's gray. I don't know. Looks gray to me. Um, <clears throat> and then he also sent me the smaller, I think it's smaller, I could be wrong, um, one in blue. So I love them, because I love me minions, I don't know why. But thank you Aaron, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to put together a little something and send it your way. Um, oh, Jan, I forgot to put part of your address on the package. So it got sent back to me, so I will resend it, and I'm going to put some extra goodies because I found some other things that I want to send to you. Um, I was trying to figure out why it was taking so long, but my brain apparently is fried. Um, anyway, so, um, purchases. So, I'll do these. So... I bought some stuff from um, the Weasleys, uh, Phil and Drew, um, on their uh, D-Stash Instagram. I'll link it below. Um, I got this iris window. I thought it was just beautiful. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe change some of the colors and make it a little more vibrant. But I think it's beautiful. I love that. So I bought that from the Weasleys, and then um, also a couple of pieces of fabrics by LJ um, in this beautiful purpley color. Um, so they're both the same size. Absolutely stunning. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on them, but when I saw these posted, I'm like, yes, please. Um, I had to. And like I said, it was Fabrics by LJ, 28 Count Lugana. Um, the color is called Regency. And it looks like it was June 2017. Fabric of the Month. Beautiful color. I absolutely love it. I 
I've been hearing a lot about fabrics by LJ, um, and I'm thinking possibly joining fabric of the month. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. I gotta slow my roll, right? I'm already doing floss of the month from Nancy um, Victorian Motto. Haven't gotten mine yet. I'm very excited and nervous, and I can't wait to get it because I know it's going to be spectacular. Um, anyway, then I bought a big old huge heap from um, Bendy Stitchy from her D Stash Instagram. I'll link it below. Um, several different magazines. And she, she did a really good job of showcasing a lot, uh, you know, several of the photos of the patterns and things um, when she listed these. And so I bought them for very specific patterns. And then I switched to things, and I'm like, oh, I like that. So I don't think this pattern was pictured. Um, and it says, proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. Um, and I love that. And it's got, you know, Liberty Bell and everything. So, so beautiful. I like that. Um, I originally bought it because of the floral romance motif uh, sampler from the front cover. I love that. So it's got different flowers, rose and can't tell, daisies, tulips, irises, daffodils, lilies, uh, carnation, and violet. So I just, I love that. And so I'm like, yep, please send me that. And then bought this one, this magazine. So that was cross stitch and needlework from 1997, June 1997. This is cross stitch Better Homes and Gardens, uh, 1999. And then I bought cross stitch and needlework Better Homes and Gardens, 1999. A different. Let's see, the first one was oh March, March 1999. So March 1999, this is June 1999. Then another Better Homes and Gardens cross stitch and needlework. Uh, I don't, December 1998. And so there's that. And I bought it because of this front pattern and I think there were a couple other things. But one thing that caught my eye is meet designer Linda Ebright of Lizzie Kate. Right there. Back in 1998. Um, so there's that. And then I bought Better Homes and Gardens Cross Stitch Needlework. I don't know. February 1997. And then I think I... Oh yeah, I bought this from her because it was in the thing. Uh, the World of Cross Stitching... I don't know which. Hmm. I have no idea. I don't know which which one it is, but it, it's the one with this rabbit. Um, came with uh, like a little kit thing to stitch. Uh, but there's that. I bought it primarily because I saw. Um, this pattern, I believe, is in here. This little tease. And I, I like the... This, uh... Exclusive free design. The luxury chart of the flowers. The bouquet of flowers. Um... There was just a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um... Anyway... Enough about that. So there, those I got from uh, Michelle Garrett. And I'm keeping them in, in here till I can... I, I've gone through all of them. All the magazines. And I know that I definitely 
love every single one of them. So there's that. Then, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these already, and I'm not going to show all of them. I'll, I'll show all but one of the books um, that I got over at uh, my Half Price Books. So I got this. It's uh, Easy Cross Stitch Series Food. And it's a really fun book. Um, I got this one. It's uh, Cross Stitch uh, Tea Time. And I bought it because of... Well, it was tea time, but so there's a whole bunch of like teapots. I bought this one because of this teapot and cup set on the front. And then this one I bought because it's tea um, cups and saucers and cakes and cupcakes and this little cute garden scene. Um, but these are all like smalls, um, so I loved those. Then I bought the DMC book. Um, cross stitch and counted thread work by Eleanor, Eleanor Van Zant. Um, there were just a whole bunch of different things in this book that I thought was awesome. I love this pillow. Um, I don't know if I do it all monochromatic or not, but there were a whole bunch of things. Um, try not to show too much, but. <clears throat> Each of these, they included the patterns for, and I love those. They're little pictures, um, Georgian style pictures. So I like those. Um, with those, I've got a question for each of you. Um, for each of those patterns, most of the called for threads are DMC 2000s. So, actually, all called for threads are DMC 2000s, except for the color E Crew. <clears throat> I have never seen DMC 2000. My Joann's, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, all start, you know, obviously 100, uh, in the 100s, and then go up to 900. And then at 900, it skips all the way to 3000s. And then I think 3600, 3700, 3800. Um, we don't, or at least that I can see, I have never seen DMC 2000 um, series. So d would I have to buy that online? Helps, you know, help, tips, tricks, something. Maybe they're discontinued and I'd have to figure out all new colors to, to do it in. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is the next book, uh, Joe Versace uh, Cross Stitch Year. It's a thousand and one motifs, and I hope I said that right. Uh, a thousand and one motifs to celebrate the events of the seasons. And I bought it because of the front and the back. It includes the four seasons of this farmer and his wife and their crops and house and everything. So this is the fall one, I think, or spring. I don't know. But it's one of them. And, oh, it's their tool shed. Okay. It's their tool shed and like a little um, greenhouse. Um, so there's that, and then here's the winter one on the back cover. I just thought that that was so stinking cute, and I want to do them both. Or do all four of the series. Uh, what is with me in seasons? Anyway, I'm, I need to get back on that. So Darlene, Kate, and Lori, sorry I'm slacking. I don't even have the first quilt done for spring. And Lori's like... Uh, I can't eat, I lose my words. Lori is like cranking them out. Like, uh, I think she's on the last quilt and it's looking exquisite, like magnifique. Then 
And the last thing I bought, now there is another book, but you'll see it in my whips because I'm using it. Last thing I bought today was this cross stitch. I went to Goodwill. It was like a last minute thing. I was going to go to this other store, uh, but found out that they closed at four and it was going to take me like 30 minutes to get there. And it was like already 348 or something. And it's like, well, damn, can't go there. So ended up going to um, Goodwill and found this. It's a Dale Bernadette or Burdette cross stitch uh, kit. It's a country cro cross stitch kit um, from 1987. It's a 1987. Um, originally sold at Walmart, and this person who bought it, and then it ended up over there, bought it for like seven bucks, you know, six forty-six. Um, I got it for three, three dollars. So there's that. It has everything in it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I just ended up buying it just to buy it, I guess. But we'll see. Unless somebody wants to buy it. Anyway, there's that. Um, whew, whips, 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 um, out of these things in the project bag, I don't know what all I have worked on in the last three weeks, so I'm just going to show everything, unless I know for a fact, because there's some that I do know for a fact, um, so, guess I can remove this. So this is the one out of the book that I bought also at high, uh, Half Price Books. Um, and it's Home and Heart Cross Stitch by Jane Schofield um, in the garden. Excuse me. Um, several very cute things. Um, I loved it. I did a quick flip through when I was there. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of stuff. I love this little sewing machine. Um, love a bunch of it. I love this, um, elephant thing here. So, I picked a pattern that I just fell in love, and it's called Sewing Squares. Oop. Gotta get used to it. Called Sewing Squares right here. Um, and instead of buying all the DMC, I decided to stitch from Stash. And I looked at the Victorian Motto Sampler flosses that I have and just determined. So here's the ones I haven't used yet for this project. Um, Aztec Gold, and I think there's one other color in there, I used on my grandmother's thing that got ruined. Um, but anyway, um, the only DMC I have used is 3812, 3812, which is this kind of like tealy green color. Um, so, move my needle minder out of the way. Um, here is where I'm at. I'm two-thirds of the way done. Um, the colors are a little true to form, not really, kind of. Um, yeah, I would say so. So the DMC is the square that outlines these hearts. And then everything else is Victorian motto sampler. Um, it's not distorted. I didn't mess up on stitching. It's the ring from the hoop. These buttons are stitched. Um, I've got some other buttons that look like little crystals, um, like little diamonds and stuff that I'm going to stitch uh, a couple of them right there in the, the center. But I only have one more row um, to do, and then this will be done. And I've had a lot of fun. I think it's really cute. 
Um, I can't remember. I think it's an 18 count oatmeal. Uh, Ada. I think it's an 18 count. Um, super soft. Um, this is Charles Craft, I think. It comes in like the hard tube. Um, beautiful stuff. I, I must say, super soft. I love it. Um, I think I'm going to start buying that more often for my smaller pieces. A lot of the larger pieces I have to go with a big plastic tube um, roll. Um, I'm hoping eventually maybe I could just buy Ada by the Bolt or something. Save money probably. And then dye it whatever color I want. But anyway, so there's that. Um, I'm using this spring-loaded small hoop. Um, and then using all these different colors. Um, I tried to... Now, if anybody have... Have? If anybody has this book, I have a conversion, which are written on both of those sticky notes. However, I also kind of have been doing it no rhyme or reason. So some of the buttons even though it called for a specific color and I had already charted out a different color, I decided, meh, not, not going to worry about it. Um, but primarily, I tr I, I'm liking how it's coming out. Um, I think it's absolutely adorable. Um, I, I, think, I think what happened, so... This is a little story time tangent. Um, I think what happened is I got burned out by all the large pieces. I mean, I still haven't even done, like, finished the beating on Mirabilia. I need to because then she'll be done. But <clears throat> I think I got burnt out on doing my big pieces that a lot of these small pieces like this just are soothing, especially this one, because I get to kind of have creative license with it and get to do whatever I want to. Oh, you know, like, as you can see in the, in the photo, it, uh, <clears throat> called for like a yellow color for this, uh, ooh, for the spool. And I didn't like that, so I made it green. And then I kept the the thread stitched across in a different green, a darker green. It's not showing up here like that very much. I mean, kind of, sort of. In, in person, you can see it a lot better, the contrast. Um, the flower, I decided to make purple. Um, and then the white circle around the center of that flower. I made a lighter purple. Um, I kept the center of it yellow and uh, with orange polka dots. Um, the hearts, I made pink and yellow. So, I mean, there's no like rhyme or reason as to what I am doing or not doing. It's, I'm just, creative license is, is flowing. Um, anyway, next piece is my um, Five Seasons of Quilts. I'm not going to take it out of the hoop. I've got like that. Right now I'm going in and stitching the white L on the log cabin. You can't see it. You're not going to be able to see it until I put in the other color the last color. Um, so I got a few more of these little what look like white squares to you guys to do the white DMC and then add the whole other color for all the squares and I'll be done with first quilt. Um, so there's that. <clears throat> then Uh, let's see, didn't work on that. Worked on this. Then, my other small that I'm working on, I showed you guys, um, 
It was this home sweet home uh, counted cross stitch kit from Joann's for four bucks. Um, it's just a little row of houses and stuff. Um, this one, I bought the flosses and just kind of bought what I what color I thought. So not a whole lot of progress. And um, I'm stitching with for the back stitch. I'm doing two strands of DMC. Um, I kind of want it to look like a little kid drew it, which is kind of the vibe that I got from here it is from the front. Is it looks like you know just artwork. You know somebody drew it in real quick with pen and ink and then colored it with markers. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing, and I think they called for a single strand of black DMC, but I decided I wanted to do two strands, and I think I like the effect a lot better with the two strands. So there's that. Um, not a whole lot of progress on it, um, but I do have the first two houses done. The first one is done, minus there's some beading that'll go up there. Um, and that's the only thing I'm using that actually came in the kit is, is the beads. So there's that. And then, actually that's it. That is all I've worked on. Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's all that I have worked on. Out of all of those, that's it. Um, and I say that's it, but I mean, there there is quite a bit done, primarily on this piece. And then I did have like a day or two where I didn't do anything because I got pissed off about, pardon my French, there I go again. Got angry about ruining that fabric. Um, but, I mean, it, it happens, and I have to get over it um, and then if you follow me on Instagram um, I've tried to start this thing this snow queen like 8,000 times and it's not working um, I love it it's beautiful it's by Joan Elliott I bought it on 123stitch.com and I love it beautiful pattern but I can't follow the pattern, and um, yeah, so I, I just keep getting lost, I don't know. So on Instagram, if you want to purchase it, reach out to me, I made a post about it, I, I'm going to sell it for I think $8 plus shipping and handling. Um, I paid a little over 13 I can't remember, a little over 13 on 123stitch.com plus whatever the shipping hand, the shipping and handling is, and I bought a couple of things at that same time, some fabric and stuff. Um, anyway, that's all I have, so hopefully I'll see you next week, and happy stitching. Bye, guys. <laughs>